Hi everyone, now we learn how we can upload files in Laravel and if a uploaded file is image then how we can display it on the UI. So we can start with the points. First we will see how we can create a small form so that we can select file to upload. After that we will create a controller for file upload. Then we will see how we can store files with the auto generated name and how we can store files with the manually provided name. And by default uploaded files are private so we will also learn how we can make them public and display on the UI after upload. And at last we'll discuss some important interview questions also. This is the playlist for Laravel 11 tutorials and that will definitely help you out for Laravel uh, project job and interviews. So you can access this playlist from description box of this part, right? So now let's uh, create a view so that we can create small form to select the file. Even with that we will create uh, one controller also. So let me create a view PHP artisan make view and view name is let's say upload then uh, we will make one controller also php artisan make controller and controller name can be let's say upload controller and we can create one more view so that we can display the image on this view right so let me create one more view php artisan make view and view name can be let's say display you can put any name for that i am just making it display for now right so now we have two uh, views and one controller so i am just creating a form inside the upload.blade.php so h1 tag will be let's say upload file then let me create a form form type will be post and whenever we are uploading any file or using any uh, multimedia uh, may, it can be a image or any uh, file that time we have to provide ink type right ink type will be multimedia uh, sorry this is a multi part then slash slash form data forms hyphen data right and inside this we can create a input type and type will be you can see that file right so okay let me create a type again input and type will be file then you can give the name also you can put any name i have just like to put their name on file only then let me create a button for that and we can close this button and you can say that the text will be let's say upload file or something and now we need to create a route for this so let me create a route for this view route view and view name will be upload this is the path actually and upload second parameter will be the view name yeah now let's see is it working or not let me start php artisan server and then if i just click on the upload then you can see that this is perfectly working fine so if you try to upload any image there it will not work let me show you here you can see that because we didn't make any post method and post request route so we have to make that so uh, here you can see that our method type is post so the route that we need to make is also should be a post type right so then go to the http upload controller and create a function there my function name can be upload and for a moment i am putting some text let's say upload function called then we can uh, create a route for this and uh, then i have to import this uh, controller inside our web web.php so just use controller path which is app http controllers and upload controller and semicolon at the last then create a route and route as i told you route method will be post because our form method is also post then uh, we can put the upload a uh, url and then we will use uh, upload controller colon colon class and in the second parameter we can put the function name of controller which is upload only like this you can ask one thing like why both route has the same url two routes can have the same url if methods are different so let's say if both are view and both are 
post then only last will work but now here you can see that one method is view second one is the post so same url will work there is a no issue and now you have to use this upload uh, url in the form action also like this and there is a one more thing we have to use there at the rate csrf token for the security now let's see is it calling this function or not so let me just refresh it uh, let me just refresh there select an image and if i just click on the upload file there you can see that upload function is getting called perfect so the next thing that we need to do we have to actually uh, call one function with the request to upload the file so first we have to use this request class in the parameter and then we'll take a parameter name which it could be request or anything then we can take a dollar path variable or any path any name to this variable whatever suits to you then just put request and then file so whatever file name we are putting there like this one we can mention there file right and then there is a function name which is store right inside this store we have to simply provide the folder name there we want to store our file and at last we can put the semicolon so this function store function will upload our file but where it will upload by default it will upload inside the uh, let me show you storage then app and there it will create a folder with the name of public and then this file will be uploaded there but this thing this area is uh, actually uh, you can say that private area so you cannot uh, display image from there so what you need to do you have to unlink this public path and how we can do that i will show you but first understand and let's see how we can upload it right so now you can simply just return this path like this and let's see is it working or not right so let me go back refresh it and i am uploading this file which is flash session 37 clicking over there uploading file and you can see that we are get the folder name as well as image name so this is the auto generated name for file and what you need to do there now you can go back re even if you want refresh it then uh, here you can see that storage app and public there we go with this image right but as i told you this is the private uh, folder you cannot access your file from there so what you need to do just go to the terminal and just simply run one command php artisan make uh, php artisan storage actually and then you can see that link so if you link then you will find the same file also available in your public folder public storage and there now you can access this file all right okay so now uh, after just running this command you will see all files are will also placed inside the private uh, storage app public folder as well as this folder also so let me try to upload one more image there go back okay we again we need to start our php artisan server let me choose one image and the image name is let's say this one 30 http client so if i just upload this image you can see that we have a path but now this image is present uh, there as well as in our uh, this is our public folder only and this is our pri private folder so this is placed on the both uh, folders okay so that's fine we able to get the file path file pol file folder but how we can display it on the ui so for that actually we have the file name as well as for uh, folder name so we have to remove this folder name first so for that what we can do there uh, we will just take a file name array this is our uh, you can say that new array for uh, get the file name from this path and there what i'll do i will just explode it and this we have to provide the this slash slash will break this string in a two parts first in uh, first will be public and second will be this uh, uh, path name and it will divide behalf of this slash because we are putting this slash and then you can say that dollar path like this put uh, semicolon at the last and now if you will display your file name you will find uh, 
yeah here you can see that we got the array of two arrays right one first element is public second one is the file name and if i just put there simply zero first then you will see we are getting this only file name right because we are sending request multiple times so multiple files are getting uploaded right because every time we are refreshing this and this file is getting uploaded so don't worry about this uh, right so now the thing is what we can do we can just create their dollar file name and then we will provide our first element of array inside this right and now what we can do there we can call their view right and which view we will call there so display we will call right display and there we can pass we will create an array with the name of path this is the key and dollar file name this will be the file name that we want to display there so after that what we need to do we are passing this path right so go to the display.blade.php and on this file you just need to create a img tag so let me create img tag with source and you don't need to src set and alt you can remove them and you can simply use their double curly braces which is the blade template syntax and use their url inside this url uh, simply use storage like this then slash and after that uh, you can put the dot because there we will put a public file name uh, dollar path right so this path should be display your image over the ui and if you want to just provide some width or something then that you can do there so now it should work and let's see is if this is working i'm going back refreshing this selecting one image and let's say image is 31 query builder uploading and there you can see that the image is displayed there but this is a very big image right so what we can do there we can just provide a style style width is let's say 500 400 whatever you want to mention and then it will be you can say that little bit smaller right so with that way we can upload this file and the now thing is uh, we are able to upload with the dynamic uh, auto generated name and display it but let's say you want to upload this file with the static your own name then how you can do that so what you need to do just comment this uh, store function and just mention there store as store as like this and there provide a second parameter with the file name let's say i'm putting there dummy one dot png extension should be there and now you will see your file name will be stored as a dummy one and let's see if it's, this is working go back selecting uh, 32 which is query builder and if i just upload it here you can see that the query builder is uploaded and go to the storage here you can see that dummy one is uploaded there perfect so the now thing is uh, we learned that how we can upload the images but if the any file type file type is different for example if we have pdf or something then how we can upload it so same way it will be work and uh, you just need to change the extension so let me put the file name is uh, dummy2.pdf so let me see if i have any pdf uh, we can go to the dashboard and 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 then yeah this one i guess this is a pdf right so clicking over there upload files so here you can see that we have image talk tag so uh, pdf cannot be displayed there that's fine but if you will see uh, dummy2.pdf is uploaded right so this is the way that how we can upload and upload the file with the auto generated name and manually provided name and how we can make the images public and display on the ui i hope you learned lots of things there if you still have any query question you can ask me in the comment section thank you so much for watching this part this is my paytm number for donation guys thank you guys